Hello and welcome back to Unforgettable Love. This is the sixth video from my teaching series from my book, Life After Brokenness. And in this video, I want to talk about voices. Now, to some degree, everyone has inner voices. Our thoughts speak to us and we all have thoughts that correct, coax, or condemn us. Thoughts like, I really need to go and clean out my closet or I should have told them no and that I didn't have the time. Wow, look at his smile, he's cute. Or I need to find another job. You idiot, why did you do that? Or I'm just getting to be so fat. Woulda, shoulda, coulda thoughts run through our heads all of the time and we hear them from within. Now God speaks to us too. And sometimes he can choose to speak to us audibly, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about that still small voice we hear from within. And what he says may be to encourage us, to direct us or guide us to help someone else. He could talk to us about our future and our dreams and the plans that he has for us and give us direction in various ways. The enemy can talk to us as well. He may tempt us, try to distract us, discourage us, or attempt to instill fear. He may try to take us off of our path or coax us to say or do something to hurt someone else. And all of these voices usually sound like our own voice. After all, our own voice is more convincing and trusted to us than any other. Now, there can be voices that are heard by our ears that no one else hears. And medically, that's referred to as auditory hallucinations. These voices can be symptoms of various mental disorders such as bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. With these disorders, these auditory hallucinations can be related to a psychosis or loss of reality. And the cause can be simply related to the dopamine levels in the brain. The voices one hears related to psychosis are usually heard from outside of the person. Now, in this series, we're dealing with those that dissociate. And those dealing with dissociation hear voices from within themselves. They're not related to psychosis. They're not caused by a break from reality or a chemical imbalance. These are the voices of alters or parts from within the core person. They can sound very different. They can be young or old or have different genders. They might have different accents or they can sound the same. They can talk to the core or among the parts. And when any part of a person's psyche is demonized, which can often be the case with a satanic ritual abuse victim, more voices can be layered in involving demonic commands or suggestions. And I have ministered to people at times where I could hear slamming, howling, banging, and demonic voices audibly. I can't even begin to imagine what it sounds like in their heads. Now, if the voices heard from a mental disorder, you know, if that's what you're hearing, guess what? Jesus provided healing on the whipping post 2,000 years ago. If the voices are coming from demons, you have authority over all the power of the enemy and can make them shut up and leave. As I've prayed about, you know, how to efficiently minister to people that do hear voices, either from parts or altars or in other things, um, one of the things God showed me was he showed me these tiny little people in cubicles in the mind that were compartmentalized and they were shouting over the walls of these cubicles to try to talk to one another. And then I heard the words, dissolve the compartments. I then saw a refiner melting glass pieces back together. And again, a refiner refining silver. And I believe that when we pray this way to dissolve the compartments, that it's God's way of bringing those voices into one voice and in one accord and of one mind. Nothing or no one is a lost cause. In Matthew 19, 26, it says, but Jesus looked at them and said to them, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. 
And John 14, 13 through 14 says, And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Okay, so right now, you know, I want to pray for the person that's watching that may struggle with tormenting voices. And, you know, the Bible says that if we submit to God and resist the devil, he will flee from us. So I just want you to relax and relax being submitting to God and just allowing him to move in and through you. I just want you to listen to my voice and receive this prayer into your spirit. And um, I just am going to pray for you now. Just relax and listen, okay? Lord, I thank you for each person watching this video that is looking to you for healing and wholeness. And in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that your word is true and that they are healed by your stripes. I command any demons in and around you to leave and to never return. I command you to be free once and for all of bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. I command your dopamine levels to be perfect for your body for optimum health. I command all oppression, tormenting or familial spirits to leave or anything that is not of God to shut up and get out now in Jesus name. I command the compartments of your mind to be dissolved and that all voices in your head become one and that the mind becomes whole. I trust you, Lord, as their refiner and healer of their spirit, soul, and body to make them whole. And I declare your peace and comfort is within them and that they can yield to you. You made them and you can remake them and heal their mind and soul. And I declare it to be done now. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, if this video blessed you, I, I ask that you consider sharing this with others because it might help them as well. And for you to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I just wanna thank you for watching. There is going to be one more video in this series following this one. So I hope you'll continue to watch. And I thank you. I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless you now. Goodbye. My book, Life After Brokenness, was five years in the making. And in this book, you'll learn what causes alternate personalities and fragments of the mind, what things are hindering you from moving forward, and how to break free from them, how to overcome fear, Know that heaven supports you and to take your life back. How to restore your memories and renew your mind and so much more. And it's available now at amazon.com.